Okay, you have uh, seen me quite often today and yesterday, so um, I hope I don't bore you by now. I'm ha putting another hat on now. I'm fire station now. Uh, I was asked by my colleague Jacques Majan to do this because he's not feeling very well, so uh, let's, uh, I step in basically. But not worry because I am part of fire station. I know the stuff pretty much <laughs> the same level as Jacques does. Uh, what is fire? This slide, I don't think I need to explain really uh, much, has been shown uh, quite often today and, uh, and even yesterday, is basically these two things. The one level, the experimental facilities, so the environments in which then the second level, the fire research, executes uh, experiments, does research, and uh, uh, we hope that this uh, loop there from research uh, validation to large-scale experiments uh, is by now working reasonably well. Um, fire experimentally driven research. Uh, this slide uh, tries to uh, uh, explain these uh, different uh, uh, measures, if you like, or activities that are embedded in this fire initiative as a whole. Uh, we have this uh, experimentally driven research, we have these experimental facilities, but these two things, in order to work uh, well together, uh, the initiative has also the support of certain coordination and support uh, actions or measures which are effectively these uh, smaller projects like in the like uh, uh, fire station. In the past there was a predecessor called Fireworks but there are also others. You have heard today the My Fire project uh, for example support action uh, but also another one Fireball which is uh, more on the um, <clears throat> living lab side and also the Paradiso, uh, which by now is finished, I believe, Paradiso 2, uh, or close to finish, which uh, was examining the social uh, uh, dimension of uh, the future Internet. Uh, this is um, a picture here, very busy actually, that tries to uh, list all the different activities in the context of future Internet. So there is uh, all the projects in Challenge 1, Network of the Future, uh, about 200 projects currently that have been um, on and off uh, the discussion about future Internet. Uh, they meet usually, as uh, these days we have here in Poznan in the Future Internet Assembly, uh, which is uh, something between a forum for discussion, a conference, and uh, um, well, consultation meetings sometimes. Uh, so people have different opinions about what this is, but uh, it seems like it is very popular and uh, increasingly successful. It is now, I think, the seventh. Uh, is that right, Alex? I think the seventh. Uh, it's uh, every, every six months uh, happening. So we have the different national future internet initiatives. Uh, there are more than 15 European countries that have explicit programs and uh, pro uh, uh, projects and actions ongoing in the future internet. We have the Future Internet PPP. You have heard about that uh, uh, as well. Uh, we have CIP, which are uh, we have more the, the the nature of a pilot, so introducing new services in the market and try to find ways to uh, effectively deploy uh, or stimulate actually the market to deploy new services uh, based on these future internet uh, technologies. Then there are there is another program, Eureka, which is. Uh, uh, organized by the member states independent of the European Commission. So there you have uh, things like Celtic or uh, um, ITA2 European is trained for the different technologies. N of course, nanoelectronics and so on are not directly relevant. Uh, well, they are relevant but not directly exposed yet uh, uh, to that extent as uh, things uh, in these other clusters of Eureka. Then certainly we have the, F, uh, the future internet in the international context with all the different regions in the, of the world. Uh, we had a very successful workshop uh, on the test pets in the international context uh, uh, in these days. Uh, we have the FP8 road mapping, so what, hap what comes after um, FP7, although FP8 was only a working title, there is an official title right now, you probably know, is Horizon 2020. So there was also an activity there to define some of the priorities for the future program. And finally, the FI Forum, uh, which are the representatives of the EU member states uh, uh, in, in a forum. 
So, and here, we, it's a rough positioning of the activities of, uh, of fire as a whole uh, and where they fit. So we have, um, I would say it's not really precise, but uh, it's a first good approximation of where these activities uh, uh, have of relevance uh, in, this, in this big picture. So you see that fire as an initiative is a kind of a cross-cutting, not only vertically, but also horizontally, um, uh, in these different activities on the future internet. If we put fire in the global picture, um, we see uh, a number of uh, initiatives uh, that are going on worldwide and with uh, which FIRE has established uh, uh, working relationships, sometimes at the normal working level of uh, the experts, sometimes at the political level of uh, the programs. And uh, for example, we see that uh, there is, a, we have seen in the, in the past and is continuing, of course, an intense collaboration with uh, uh, U.S. and Japan. We have uh, uh, now a good collaboration ongoing with uh, Brazil, as it was evident also by the last uh, joint call between uh, EU and, uh, and Brazil. Uh, we have different uh, national activities like the G-Lab, the German lab in Germany. There is uh, also a similar initiative in France, uh, the F-Lab. We have some other large local labs like uh, the IBBT I-Lab. Uh, and a few more. So with all these players in the picture, um, uh, FIRE maintains uh, links, uh, if you like. Now, Jean, of course, is one of the uh, very prominent uh, representatives here. And uh, we have uh, certainly with Jean also uh, working relationships, uh, although it could have been better, in fact, <laughs> until uh, uh, w what has been achieved is, uh, is okay, but uh, I think we need to be more active and uh, put more emphasis on this relationship. Uh, this slide tries to, well, not tries, but does display, in fact, uh, the names, although the names doesn't uh, really reflect what they are about, but these are the fire projects currently active from call five and call seven. Um, in the middle, you see the fire uh, facility project, so the layer that offer the environments uh, for experimentation and uh, uh, we heard these days a lot about GRU, Ophelia, Tefis, Bonfire, Smart Sanander, and uh, a little bit less about the new ones like Experimedia, Confine, OpenLab, and uh, EINS, which is a network of excellence. Uh, what we did here a lot these days, uh, but this is also the nature of the, the workshop uh, or the fire event uh, this time, uh, about the research projects that uh, execute actually research. We have LAVA which is on uh, large-scale data. We have the fiber, which uh, has a kickoff meeting actually today, uh, if I understand correctly, in the room nearby, uh, which is the U Brazil uh, cooperation, the call uh, that uh, uh, fills life, of, gives life to this U Brazil cooperation. Then the SCAMBI project, which is uh, services on uh, opportunistic networks or Spitfire, on Internet of Things, uh, Connect, Flexible Radio, Convergence on content-centric networking, Euler on, on advanced uh, and new routing algorithms, Hopnet, Smart Buildings, and Novi uh, deploying services on virtual infrastructures. There is some uh, more information, of course, of all these projects uh, you certainly find through their sites, respective sites. Um, I think I won't go through this list here again, uh, because they have been mentioned and, uh, I mean, whatever I say, I will probably uh, say too little about these projects. The best place to go to find out about these projects is really their site. And your portal overall is, uh, is uh, convenient, if you like, uh, through the fire station uh, portal, which maintains all these links to the different uh, uh, projects that, uh, that are in this fire initiative. Now, these are these call seven projects, which started in uh, October 2011. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, OpenLab started in September 2011, so it was a little bit uh, more uh, uh, advanced in timing. So OpenLab emerged out of uh, two older FIRE projects, if you like, the, the seeds in this FIRE initiative, like uh, OpenLab and, and PanLab. 
And um, currently, Planet Love, as I, I presented it uh, uh, yesterday, is, uh, is actually a very large uh, um, concentration of existing uh, test pets and laboratories and tools and so on. And the challenge really here is to make them all work as, as a unity. Expedimedia, uh, there was a presentation yesterday by, by Josep uh, uh, Martra from Atos, is uh, uh, trying now to offer test pets for us care experiments using live events and real world communities to accelerate the adoption of future media uh, internet. Uh, so this project had, um, uh, if I remember, recall correctly, also uh, one of the very few projects that I know, in fact, that had uh, ethical issues. So they went for ethical review because, of course, this uh, um, uh, using the real world uh, uh, persons with what they are doing in, in live events is highly sensitive from the privacy point of view. Uh, but as far as I understand, they have uh, managed this and uh, they, they are also uh, starting to work. Confine, it's about community networks incorporating wireless and optical links. And um, they also started now and tried to organize this, uh, um, uh, well, this community-owned routers and, uh, and uh, networks uh, into a, a self-organized uh, network. EINS, finally, again, this is a network of excellence that's different from, from projects that implement something or provision something, is, uh, is trying to establish uh, internet science. So the, taking a look at the cross-disciplinary issues that are around the, the internet, uh, the future internet, taking into account really all other uh, uh, relevant uh, disciplines that uh, may be of uh, interest and relevant in this context. Um, so here are some details about these TREPS projects. Um, LAVA, uh, which, well, I went uh, very briefly uh, across them, but here are a bit more details, if you like. Not really much details, but a bit more details about the actual uh, content of this uh, subject of these projects. LAVA is uh, trying to, to build an uh, internet-based experimental test but for large-scale data analytics. So the, that's one of the uh, projects that are a bit uh, different from, from uh, uh, an, an, a testbed that is used for services because their main thing is not services or networking, but it is actually the handling of, of data. Uh, Fibra, uh, again, um, uh, is the, the manifestation of uh, the cooperation between um, collaboration between Brazil and Europe, and uh, its goal is to create a common uh, space between the EU and Brazil for future internet experimental research. So I understand that this was a very uh, well effective uh, 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 outcome of the discussion at uh, also at the political level at the program level. Uh, to try to find uh, or to implement a mechanism that will allow basically, uh, based on equality, uh, the researchers on both sides of this uh, uh, Atlantic to, to work. SCAMPI, a service platform for social aware uh, mobile and pervasive computing. Um, it's uh, a typical project where um, um, uh, the, the experimenters want to investigate um, uh, technical solutions for some um, service platforms in the mobile and pervasive opportunistic networks. Now, the idea there is, uh, um, if I recall correctly from the presentation I heard uh, in, in Budapest, uh, they would like to, to offer these, uh, the, 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 the users uh, a much richer uh, way or a richer way of communicating with their peers uh, depending on the availability of networks uh, and information in their proximity. Uh, Spitfire, semantic service provisioning for the Internet of Things. Um, <coughs> um, the, the project here works towards the realization of a stronger connection between the digital world and the, the physical world, the natural world. Uh, connect. Um, 
cooperating networking for high capacity transport architectures. Uh, here the aim is to develop novel performance bounds for wireless network information flows. Convergence, um, which proposes to enhance the internet with a novel uh, content-centric publish subscribe service model based on, on the versatile uh, digital item. Uh, Euler, Euler, which is um, uh, a successor of a previously uh, very successful project, uh, successor which uh, was the ECODE, uh, and this in fact uh, picks up on the results of uh, ECODE in the domain of uh, new routing paradigms uh, for, uh, for distributed dynamic, dynamic routing uh, schemes. HopeNet, uh, a very interesting project in fact here. Uh, which is uh, a platform uh, for smart buildings for the future internet where things that uh, are uh, related with the management and automation of everything in, in buildings like energy efficiency and so on uh, plays a major role. So it is a rather um, uh, well um, a sensor type of network so sensors, sensor networks uh, uh, play a role there. Uh, Novi, uh, which uh, works on uh, innovations over virtualized infrastructures. Novi has uh, certainly also a, a, a history, uh, but uh, I hope that you got the chance to see the Novi demo outside uh, in the demo room. It was actually a very impressive demo uh, uh, for a project that is a rather small research project and, and um, well, running about a year now. Um, However, probably because of the history of, of Novi uh, having its roots also somewhere in the beginning of the FIRE initiative. Okay, status of the international cooperation. Um, as you can see on this map, uh, FIRE initiative as a whole has established basically working relationships at different levels, as I mentioned earlier, uh, basically around the globe. Now, it's of course not all of that fire station, it's fire initiative, because certainly there is a lot of work done by the My Fire, who, uh, My Fire project, uh, uh, with the colleagues are here in the room also, because they, they did a lot of work in the BRIC countries, so Brazil, uh, uh, Russia, India, China. And, um, well, I, I don't think I need to go really one by one to this, it's only a, a slide that gives you an idea that uh, the initiative as a whole has basically reached out um, into all continents. Now, all continents on this slide, you don't see Africa. Africa, though, is, uh, uh, as of these days, also on the map because we uh, have, uh, have picked up a trail now and uh, a relationship with, uh, um, uh, with, uh, with South Africa. And in fact, South Africa representative was uh, uh, always insisting that he, sh he, he should not be seen only as South Africa, but uh, Africa as a whole continent is a very interesting place to do experimentation with new future internet technologies. So we need to correct this slide, <laughs> Jacques, to include also Africa here. So the project itself, so Fire Station only, as I said, there are more support action. The project uh, Fire Station uh, is a coordination and support action started in June 2010 for 36 months, has a budget of 1.5 million, and uh, the list of partners is there. Um, it's actually a carefully selected list of partners because this, the majority of these partners have uh, some smaller or bigger role in all the other projects, uh, especially the facility projects. So through this uh, partnership here we have uh, uh, a rather good working links to all the facility projects which plays a role uh, in the architecture board which I will explain uh, 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 in a few moments. So as a project fire station has uh, basically two objectives, two main objectives. To move the fire facilities towards a more customer driven, dynamic, effective, sustainable, easy to access, easy to use experimental platform. Uh, now the key word sustainability is also uh, in here, which is very important, and also Per explained that, uh, uh, or was it Rapolas, that the next uh, IP, uh, uh, the big IP that is, uh, that is uh, expected out of Col 8, 
will have sustainable base probably as the main subject, right? To make this uh, facility uh, sustainable. Okay, the second uh, objective of fire station as such is basically to intensify the collaboration amongst the fire community. Uh, I believe that we are doing a reasonably good work until now. Uh, our last uh, project review was in this, uh, in, on, in this, uh, within this respect actually quite, uh, quite positive. So th this is how fire station is organized. Now again, a very busy slide. Fire station is, uh, is the activities is in this box here. Everything that is outside are the relationships that we maintain with the different uh, other initiatives outside. And uh, these are, of course, all the initiatives that I showed in the previous slide about the different activities that we find in Europe and in other parts of this world in the context of future internet. Now, inside the fire, we maintain a fire office, uh, and we maintain, uh, which is actually a one face, one, some sort of a one face to the customer. We try through the fire office to be uh, the contact point for everybody that needs to contact uh, somebody inside the fire initiative or is looking for some more information uh, uh, what's going on. Now, uh, typically we dispatch, of course, uh, requ requests and queries and so on, but very often we respond directly through the fire office and point to the right information that is looked for. And uh, very important is this fire architecture board, uh, where the objective here is to, in collaboration with all the facility projects, all the projects that maintain and operate infrastructures, to come up with, uh, with some agreements. And here we are back to standardization as we discussed uh, earlier. Uh, about what things to standardize. So some of these things that I mentioned in this standardization about the facilities are being discussed in this fire architecture board. Right, I think I explained this already, so I can skip that. Um, okay, a bit, a bit more on the architecture board. Um, here we, uh, uh, as I, as I in fact, I explained this already. Uh, we are trying to find the, the technology uh, things or that play a role in, the, in, uh, in making the different fire facilities uh, uh, federate. And we try to prioritize which are these technical um, uh, requirements that, uh, uh, and also needs from the community that are, uh, well, necessary to support the harmonization of, of these uh, facilities. Now, we, we saw that this uh, work is actually very, very difficult because uh, uh, every test bed here has some different objectives, some different target audience or target market, if you like, as, as a test bed. Uh, so it is, um, it is, when we drill a little bit in the details, we find out that this is indeed a very, very, very challenging work. Uh, nevertheless, we are, uh, as a fire architecture board from fire station point of view, we are trying now uh, our best to actually mediate and, and moderate the discussion among the facility projects um, to, to progress this issue. So things that are on the table, um, you certainly remember the interesting presentation, the very interesting and good presentation by Ingrid on measurement and benchmarking methodologies, tools for that. Uh, this has been uh, one prominent example, if you like, of the collaboration among uh, FIRE projects. And the white paper that's on, uh, available on the crew side is also available, in fact, uh, through the FIRE station side. And, uh, well, includes basically the opinions of uh, three projects, uh, if I remember correctly, crew, uh, bonfire, and uh, one lab two, Correct me if I'm wrong, Ingrid, is still here? No? Okay, but I think I got them right. Uh, another issue that is being discussed is fire sustainability. So as you see, we are already now starting to lay somehow the ground of uh, possible sustainability models uh, for the future, and I think this discussion that we are doing there uh, might be picked up by, by the uh, fire IP that will be accepted, uh, whatever it be. I mean, this information uh, will be public, it's nothing secret. Uh, so we, we may see 
um, some follow on on that. Uh, we are trying to maintain a strategy with, uh, with respect to international collaboration and the Horizon 2020. Uh, we are writing a roadmap. We are working on a roadmap. We have a first version out. Uh, don't know, is this public, Timo, the first version? I think it is, right? The roadmap. I think it is, so you should be able to find it on, on, on the website. Um, uh, it is, of course, not complete yet because it is ongoing work, but we want to give out uh, whatever is ready uh, to the community to, to get feedback. Uh, certainly from the fire station project, we also help all the projects, the facility projects, um, uh, organize their work. For example, the open call uh, information days uh, the, there, there have been two information days organized, one in February and one in September uh, this year. And this was effectively uh, an organization through Fire Station uh, to make the life, let's say, of these projects a little bit easier uh, when dealing with these uh, open calls. Yeah, this is a kind of an aggregation of the information on the open calls. Uh, total 71 proposals have been received by Bonfire, Ophelia, and Tefis. Uh, about 10 of them have been retained of a total amount of 1.6 million euros funding. And um, there is a second uh, wave, of course, as you have heard uh, uh, yesterday and uh, today. Uh, crew has just finished with a call. It is still ongoing with the evaluation. Uh, Smart Sanander and Open Lab will uh, close uh, uh, soon. So Smart Sun on 16 November, open lab on the 30th of November. The FIRE website, certainly you can go, and as I said, this is your portal to everything that is related to, to this FIRE initiative. Uh, it's www.ict-fire.eu. Uh, we have a brochure. A couple of copies should be, should be around, so if you don't have one, please feel free to, to pick up one. You can download this certainly from the web. Uh, there is also a newsletter available with uh, uh, different issues around fire. This is published every three months. And, uh, um, and in between, sometimes uh, you get also some special editions of these newsletters when, when things uh, happen um, uh, very, very, very often. Uh, we maintain a wiki. Uh, again, wiki.ict-fire.eu. Uh, which is a community um, tool, and some of this uh, information there is not really maintained by us, but, uh, well, we maintain in, in the sense that we make sure that the information is somehow easy, reachable, and, and somehow linked, but the, the, the content there comes from the projects. So the many project participants of the fire research projects and the fire uh, facility projects have accounts, and then they, they do the work there. Uh, for a good example of this, let's say, grassroots uh, work of, uh, within the wiki was the last uh, uh, research workshop that was held in Budapest. Uh, basically, the agenda for this event was completely developed by the community. So Fire Station only made sure that nobody just makes nonsense with the, with the wiki. That's it. Thank you for your attention. If you have a QR-enabled phone, please feel free to... <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. I'm sorry, I think we can proceed with a question session for Fire Station. If you really have questions, please, uh, please ask. It's a very impressive uh, program, and uh, you said that you 